Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from AnimatorsForum.com, as well as the Real Illusion Forums. I I found something today, this morning, that's kind of odd, but I thought I would share it for you because, as you know, I try to keep you uh, informed of everything that I know, and maybe it'll come in handy for you. Um, I was I was using this character in Daz. Okay, this is um, this this character is uh, I don't know what her name is Scion or something like that. Uh, it's uh, yeah, here it is. It's Scion. And I put the Louise hair on her. Okay? Got me so far? Mm -hmm. So Scion put Louise hair on her. Here's Louise. And I used this red color. Okay? Because I'm trying to get this to look like Scarlett Johansson. And this is the kind of the model for that. So um, so I got this. And I exported it. I'm kind of happy with that. And so it comes in to um, Character Creator 3 through Transformer. Uh, and it's nice. It looks like Scarlet, but the hair, uh, I didn't like the way the hair was. Uh, it doesn't have her hair. I don't know if I have, uh, let me see if I've got uh, Black Widow hair here. I was I was doing this, um, let's see if I can try to get this here. This is what I was trying to get to. Ah, let's see if I can do this. See, you know, see, you can see her hair is darker here. Uh, you know, it's kind of, um, let's see if I can find one that you can see a little easier. You can see it's it's kind of a darkish red, not this color. So I was playing around with various uh, ways of doing that. And the way you can do that is you can go into, you select the hair, and you can go in and select the two, um, you know, pieces of her hair, and then do the adjust the color. And, and I was playing with that, but I just couldn't quite get it the way I wanted to. I, I turned the brightness down, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't looking right to me. Um, but one thing I, I, I found is that, so the first thing is, I don't know if you've ever found this before, but if you try to move this hair, uh, which you can do, because hair can be moved, if you import it from, uh, from a place like Daz, then the movement is very odd. Well, I'll show you this. I'll try to bring this up, and then I'll try to, I'm trying to bring it down now, and it's it's and now it's I'm just bringing it up and down notice this but it's it's very difficult to move up and down and I'm not even getting it right here yeah see it's not going right try to undo this and then if you the same thing you know you go back and then I'm trying to go forward with it but it's and then sometimes it just see it won't come back ever so it's it's just gone <laughs> so anyway uh, I thought, well, I'll just convert this to an accessory and work with it from there because you can always convert it back. Well, look what happens when I convert it to an accessory. I convert it to an accessory. I'm going to bake the current shape because I like the, the place it's at right now. And I convert it to an accessory, and the hair color changes. It's very odd. Um, I don't know why that happens. But in any case, once it's, once it's an accessory, then it moves properly. Then you don't get any of that crappy... Uh, you know, I can't move it properly, and you can get it adjusted, you know, exactly the way you want it, uh, which in this case, I wanted to move it forward a little bit like that, and not too much, but just a little, and then you can, you know, you can size it and everything, and then if you, if you convert it back by transferring the skin weights, it keeps the same color. It's, it's very odd. I don't know why the color changes when you convert it to an accessory, but in any case, by doing that, I was actually able to get a, a better color for what I wanted to do. And, and then I went into, um, I, 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 I'm not going to do it here, but I, what I ended up with was um, uh, 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 Black Widow. Where did I put Black Widow? There she is. So I ended up with this color, which, uh, which is nice. This is the kind of that same color that I really wanted to. So there's a, an example of you can go back and forth between, uh, and you can do that with cloth too cloth hair, whatever, convert to accessory, you might find it just easier to work with when you're, uh, when you're doing it that way instead of, uh, instead of working with it as hair when it comes into Blender. And I think when you see when it comes in, it's, uh, it looks pretty cool. That looks very, very much like uh, the color hair she has. So anyway, folks, that was just what I found out this morning. And if it's useful to you, that's great. If not, don't pay any attention to it.